I guess taking the port is probably your only option right now. I love how it just literally shifted to me buying from their uh, rival because they can no longer control them, their border. Indeed, a happy Ramadan. The Ottoman Empire is in free fall. Yeah, we need a lot of light tanks. So that should be the supply fixed, at least, for now. Oh, wait. Have to build a railroad there first. Now, as you guys can see, now that we cleared out that pocket, we're able to go on a lot more offensives because we don't have to deal with uh, the Ottomans on our neck anymore. And having all my troops assigned to one little area. Now we've taken the lead for uh, the most casualties given. Have we taken the most? No, it's Egypt by far. Egypt, what the fuck are you doing? You're still outside Jerusalem. You've made zero progress, even though the Ottomans have lost tons of men. Thailand's Burma took two states, German took two states, and Cambodia. They probably had cores here or something. Oh. Thailand. That's rust. That's rough. Burma's huge now, though. Oh. Okay. Now you have the Kingdom of Siam. Are you going to give them back their land? was to take Samson, guys. Level 2 port with key supply uh, issues if the Ottomans want to get access to the Black Sea, you know. Be able to seize more than half their Black Sea coast if we're able to take Samson in the port north of it. And then we can go for Zolgotic and push towards Constantinople. I'm not even going to go for Ankara just because I don't have enough, uh, I guess we can train a little bit more. But I don't have enough troops to go for a huge push. So we might have to take this slow. We'll go for Austrian engineers, even though Austria is at war and they've made no progress. You guys still have yet to take Samson. What are you doing? Okay. 
Okay, let's unpause. We are making progress. Progress, progress, progress. Yeah, I get it, Ottomans. I don't want to be occupied either, but... You know, maybe you shouldn't have invaded me. That's all I'm saying. Not now, obviously. I, I'm the one who invaded you, but... I'm saying, like, back then. You know, when you've... Taken land from me and shit like that. Probably gonna pause off that. Oh, that's bad. Actually, it's good. That's great. We can use that to our advantage. Princely Federation. Cut off two uh, Ottoman divisions here. Iceland. Join the International. This is snaking, but it's also a huge railroad. The thing about the supply update is that I kind of like it because what it does is it adds more importance since I'm taking things besides cities and ports and airports. Now there's like supply hubs and shit like that you have to take. And I do think that does have like a new, sh uh, you know, value in uh, the tactical importance of certain objectives in a war, you know. Keep it limited, keep it controlled operations, stuff like that. But when it comes to Dealing and maintaining it, it's a pain in the ass, and I think everyone who plays Hearts of Iron agrees. The supply system has many bugs when it comes to uh, certain issues, and I don't blame Paradox, you know, at the point of it, they're trying to make the game a little bit more realistic, but it also does come off sometimes as a bit much, and complicates a game that is already very complicated. Now Russia's marching, the militant godlesses. Militant godless is no longer uh, with us anymore, unfortunately. It was a good joke to see back in the day. I would prefer some more uh, divisions soon. I don't know where my infantry divisions are. Here, we'll just... Pop those bad boys out. And your tree of revolts. Don't think that really matters. They just fucking took back Musil, which really pisses me off. Extreme hot. Still holding outside of Ankara right now.
do kind of want to limit the front line here to not overlap with the pink army because pink army is no longer going to be just an offensive force that I built. It will focus on that area of command. I would prefer if we could get some more units out though because our kind of reached our limit on where we can push. Until the supply situation gets under control, kind of stuck. But like when they give us free opportunities like that, we'll obviously take them. I think the only way to auto piece out this war is uh, by taking all of Syria, you know, Israeli areas or Palestinian areas. If I get canceled for that, I swear to God. I just picked the uh, hefty build for tanks, but it should make my tanks better in the long run. Ankara is a level one fort, and you can obviously tell they're building it up. Right now, my goal is to keep my uh, operations very limited in what I do and just take territory where we think we can take it. Don't make any large pushes. And uh, tactically, I want to surround Ankara, which we can probably do with the units we have. But after that, I don't really see it likely happening. We do need to connect our supply routes though. So as you guys can see, Ankara is a four-way highway of rails. So you take not only this, but then this, and then surround it. Which I guess for any other city you kind of want to surround, but there would be less emphasis on surrounding it if there was less roads connecting to it, you know? Just kind of how the supply dynamics work. Now that is three potential divisions. Uh, I need someone to deal with that, like, quick. So they have probably serious air power over us. As you guys can imagine, they have 100 planes, not the worst, but I don't really have the production efficiency to build a bunch of planes right now. I would like to build a railroad that would connect here so that we have better supply in the area, but that's not really happening, it looks like. maneuver a few units there and then let's also try to take back the Yarbaktar I 
failed push on Ankara is not really uh, going to plan, unfortunately. And then we get that, so we get Night Assault Tactics, so even when we're attacking at night, we'll have a bonus. So far, we've only been able to cut two connectors into Ankara, which isn't exactly what I hoped for, but you know what? We'll take it for now. Until we can uh, really start making more pushes in the area. Or at least trying to trim. There's not much I can do to go for Ankara right now. So maybe we can resume the push on Ankara again if we can just kind of like stabilize the front lines. And them taking Savas isn't exactly helpful. I swear I was outside this city for a while too. do our best to kind of narrow it down here a bit. Down here a bit. Call off the offensive there. Put in another two whenever that next one gets built. point in cutting off Ankara if we can just take it, which I think there's a chance we probably could. And now we have reinforcements coming from the pocket we destroyed. The Ottomans are at 344,000 casualties, uh, 176,000 is from me. 